Hi guys, it's Ben here and here are my player ratings from both halves of Liverpool's one all draw with Wigan Athletic on Friday night at the DW Stadium. So that's the second pre-season friendly out of the way. Liverpool have drawn with Wigan Athletic after falling a goal behind in the first half. We didn't see a vintage Liverpool performance. It wasn't anywhere near as good as Wednesday night. Obviously, the opposition was much tougher. I thought Wigan actually played really well. They defended really resolutely and didn't really let us through, especially second half. They were really quick to everything. The first half was far more enjoyable, not just the goals, but just the way Liverpool played. There was a lot more pace and intensity about their game. Coutinho and Alado in particular, pressing from the front, playing the quick pass, one-twos. And of course, we saw the goal from Mohamed Salah. Hopefully, his first of many in a Liverpool shirt. So let's get into the player ratings. Mignolet, I mean, he had very little to do I think he made a good save from an offside so it didn't really count but he couldn't really do anything about their goal give him a 6 out of 10 Trent Alexander-Arnold played quite well again I thought he got forward well and played some nice balls looked comfortable on the ball looked really fit again he's going to get 7 out of 10 John Matip had a few tussles with their strikers and I thought he did okay probably 6 out of 10 Clavin also a 6 pretty comfortable didn't have much to do Flanagan looked a bit off the pace which is disappointing after his good display on Wednesday he gave the ball away once literally gifted the ball right to their striker and they nearly scored from that so Flanagan gets a 5 into the midfield Gini Vijnaldum gets a 7 I thought he was one of our best players some really nice passes and what should have been a lovely assist for Firmino but his touch was too heavy Lallana gets a 7 too looked really busy in midfield looked super fit pressing with real pace from the front and really got involved with a lot some lovely touches probably had more of the ball than anybody else besides probably Coutinho Ben Woodburn started really brightly there was one moment when he had to wriggle through two Wigan players to get out of trouble and he did that beautifully other than that he kind of was in and out of the game, didn't get involved too much. Probably a 6 out of 10. Coutinho, you could just tell he's the best player on the pitch. He kept picking the ball up from deep and just bursting forward with it. Some lovely passes. He played the ball through to Firmino, which led to Salah's goal. 7 out of 10 for him. Roberto Firmino gets a 6. His touch looked a little bit off compared to Wednesday night. There was a few moments when he just had to turn it around the defender, but his touch just really wasn't there. But he did play the assist to Salah for his goal, so he gets a 6. And then you've got Mohamed Salah himself, the debutant now. We've all been excited to see. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give him the player of the half. I might be being a bit generous because it's his debut and we all love him and we're all so excited to see him but he took his goal well other than that he had that good burst in the first minute when he looked like he was going to catch him out straight away a couple of other moments nice intricate movement in the box nearly set up Firmino for what should have been the opener overall an encouraging 45 minutes for the Egyptian okay second half Loris Karius was in goal and I really want him to do well at Liverpool but there were just a couple of moments in there as there always seems to be when he's playing that just made my heart stop. I mean, obviously it's a friendly, so, you know, I didn't really care that much, but there was one moment when the ball just rolled under his foot, he tried to control it, and it just went under his studs and looked like it was gonna go over the line, but it didn't. There was one routine cross that he should have just caught, and he somehow fumbled it. It's just the uncertainty that he brings. It's like many of there a couple of years ago. I won't be too harsh on him. I'm gonna give him a five. To be honest, most of the outfield players didn't really do much. It was all just sort of passing it around. So, I mean, Joe Gomez barely touched it, six out of 10. Kevin Stewart was actually really sloppy. There were two occasions when he passed the ball straight to Wigan players he's probably a 5 out of 10 Dan Lovren was okay he got involved he got stuck into a few meaty challenges and hit the post with a header too he gets a 6 James Milner had a solid game used the ball well but he should have probably won it for Liverpool at the end he gets a 6 as well sorry to keep giving 6 out but it was that kind of second half Henderson you guessed it, 6 out of 10. He was okay, recycled possession, but didn't quite set the tempo like he normally does. Grujic I was actually really disappointed with. I gave him man of the match on Wednesday. He was superb. He got forward really well, but tonight he just seems to want to keep turning back every time he got the ball in a nice position. You could see Henderson getting really cheesed off with it, actually. There was one occasion when they were quite deep into Wigan's half. Grujic had the ball. Liverpool started to get a bit of momentum, and he just had to lay it off to Henderson. He would have sprayed a long pass over towards Milner, but... He went right back to the centre backs and he, he did that a few times and it just got a bit frustrating. I don't know why he was so negative. I'm not sure whether he just wanted to play it safe. There were a couple of occasions when he could have played Sturridge in too, but he just took the extra touch and slowed everything down. So five out of ten for him. Chirovella wasn't in the game as much as he was on Wednesday, but when he was on the ball, he just looked so comfortable and calm and he turns really well, he uses his body, seems to anticipate whenever a defender's come in, he just quickly turns around him. I thought he was really cute on the ball. I'm gonna give him a seven out of ten. Dominic Slanky couldn't really get into the game. Him and Sturridge showed signs of linking up, but I think it just didn't quite come off. Wigan defended really well in fairness. They halted a lot of our attempts to play Solanke and his movement was fine, but he never really got any chances. So six for Solanke, he didn't do much wrong. Diva Karigi, pretty much the same. He showed one really exciting burst as soon as he came on. Looked like we were gonna carve out a goal. There was a bit of a goal mark scramble there too, when it looked like he might have scored, but it's just another six out of 10 performance. Daniel Sturridge, a bit like Coutinho, you can just tell he's that class above. Sturridge gets a seven out of 10 for me. I thought he was really bright. Had a real chance to win it with his left foot late on, but he just couldn't get his 
foot around the ball properly and ended up skying it a bit wide. So there are my ratings. It wasn't the most enthralling game. The second half in particular was very dull. Very 6 out of 10 all round, as I say. Man of the match is Mohamed Salah. Scored on his debut. Looked quick, looked bright, looked exciting. I just cannot wait to see him play more often. Enjoyed Coutinho's performance too. He gets a special mention. Adam Milana too. Just looked so fit. Pressing from the front, just as if it was a cup final. Let me know in the comments what you think of my ratings. Do you disagree with any of them? Do you think I've been too harsh on some of them? And who was your man of the match? Was it Mohamed Salah, just like mine was? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. And check out the other video that's going to be on my channel shortly, which is my instant reaction as it happens to all the goals and highlights. Drop a like if you're enjoying this sort of post match content, share the video for me, spread the word and follow my other socials, it's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.